26 charges are dismissed against a North Carolina appeals judge accused of trying to run over Black Lives Matter protesters in Fayetteville last month. An independent prosecutor cleared Judge John Tyson because of a lack of evidence. Fox 46 chief legal correspondent Seema Iyer live in the newsroom. And Seema, you spoke with a woman who says the judge tried to run her over. I did. I spoke to Maya Warren just moments ago, and that was after I received a statement from the judge's lawyer. And what this all reveals is two very different sides of one story. Take a look. Maya Warren says Judge John Tyson tried to assault her and other Black Lives Matter protesters with his car last month. Video released by the Fayetteville Police Department shows the judge circling the protesters and driving in a lane that is closed to traffic. At one point, you see his SUV come very close to the group. Warren told me she does not agree with the decision to drop the charges. No, that, 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 is, that is not correct. The judge's lawyer sent me this statement that says the Fayetteville Police, a magistrate and an independent prosecutor all say there just wasn't enough evidence to move forward with the case. The statement also says Warren's allegations are false. She disagrees. Definitely, definitely not false allegations because so that means myself and witnesses are lying as well. Warren says the prosecutor told her the case would be tough to take to court. He said, uh, based on the footage that he reviewed, that it would be hard to uh, defend this in court. He did not say that it was not credible evidence. And when he asked her to sign a statement agreeing to drop charges, she refused. Just like she refuses to walk away from her fight for justice. I never admitted that there was not enough evidence. I still say that day and that moment at that particular time in front of witnesses that I felt as if that man was trying to hit me with his vehicle and that this is what happened. Now, Warren also told me that the independent prosecutor showed her additional video that has not been released to the public. And she says that video shows much more egregious actions on the part of the judge. She's working to get that. Now, we just became aware of this video. We are also going to try to get that video. Until then, Seema Iyer, live in the newsroom. Guys.